It's gotten so bad. Did you see what Obama said yesterday? I'm getting ahead of myself here in terms of the stack. Obama actually compared, folks, Donald Trump to Adolf Hitler on the genocide angle. Barack Hussein Obama actually in a speech worries about Trump eventually committing genocide on people the way Adolf Hitler did. And you can't find a peep about it in the drive-by media. Now, you let some deranged right-winger make some similar statement, and the drive-by media drops everything and tries to wipe them out and destroy them. And here comes Obama. I'll find it after the break and give you the uh, actual, some of the quotes and some of the details of where he made the statement. But this, this, is, this is unprecedented. And he wasn't cracking a joke. So Obama is terribly worried about Trump. Trump is more conservative than anything they ever imagined. Now, Obama piping up that they're worried on the left here that Obama, or that, that, that Trump can actually be like Hitler in terms of genocide. I mean, it's a direct reference to the Holocaust. Obama was speaking at the Economic Club of Chicago. In a friendly interview with CBS News financial analyst Melly, Melody Hobson. And wait a minute, Melody Hobson, Melody, Melody, she's married to George Lucas. Melody Hobson is married to George Lucas, has donated over $100,000 to Obama's presidential campaigns. She's called Colin Kaepernick a hero of hers. Uh, and she interviewed Obama. And in this interview, which is described as friendly, Obama suggested we could have an American genocide akin to what happened in Nazi Germany with Trump as president. Obama was speaking at the Economic Club of Chicago, made the caustic remark in comments captured by Crane's Chicago business political columnist Greg Hines, H-I-N-Z, According to Hines, Obama warned of Trump's nativism and distrust of the media, and that could cause our democracy to fall apart quickly. Obama then made the connection between Trump and Hitler, warning 60 million people died when the world got complacent. And, of course, this Heinz guy apparently loved what Obama said because he tweeted out, take that real Donald Trump. Obama makes clear his view that a complacent America could be headed the way of Nazi Germany. Read his remarkable comments at Economic Club of Chicago. Holy smoke. You haven't seen a word of this, I will bet you, anywhere in the drive-by media. Well, it's beyond outrageous. I mean, it is outrageous, but it's it's so far beyond outrageous. It's unpresidential. It's paranoid. It is you you, you pick your adjective and your and your descriptive. Yeah, anybody else comparing anybody to Hitler, and here come the drive-bys, and everybody else descending on you, saying it's irresponsible. You shut up. We're going to make sure you can't speak, and you keep talking this way. And they just just descend on these people like crazy. Here's the former president of the United States, allude, not alluding, warning that if we get complacent with Trump and his nativism, it could lead to a genocide of 60 million people like happened in Nazi Germany. Are they in panic or what? That's what I think. I think exactly what I thought was going to happen is happening. I think Obama is a combination of angry, livid, outraged, paranoid that his agenda is being unraveled. Because that's exactly what Trump is doing. Trump is Trump is unraveling all of Obama's executive action uh, regulations that he can. Global warming, the Iranian nuke deal. Trump is literally t- unwinding everything Obama did. Tried to unwind Obamacare. Donald Trump is trying to erase the Obama presidency. And Obama damn well knows it.
I thought this would happen long before now, but it's finally happened. Remember, I predicted you people, Obama's going to go on TV, start warning everybody. I never thought he would compare Trump to, to, to Hitler. But he knows what's going on. And he viewed his eight years as just the foundation, and then the next Democrat presidents would further it, and we would finally at some point transform America. Now it's all being not just unraveled, but erased. And they are livid about it. Now, the story on the Obama Nazi comments is in, uh, we found it at Newsbusters. And I have to, even when I saw it, I said, be careful with this. You know, this, this is so out there. But it looks like every bit of it's true. See you in a few minutes here. By the way, TheHill.com has run the story on Obama at the Economic Club of Chicago. Yeah, it's the only mainstream media news report I've seen on it, uh, and it's barely. Obama warns of complacency, comma, notes rise of Hitler. Nothing in the headline about comparing Trump to Hitler. Nothing in the headline about warning the American people in the world that Trump could become Hitler. And then from the Hill story, while some could see the remark as a veiled jab at President Trump, Obama did not mention Trump by name during the event. Well, that's not the, that's that's not what I've got here. That's not I mean, I, the, the Newsbuster story. Obama warns Trump will lead America to genocide like Hitler. And it, this comes from a guy again named uh, Hines, Greg Hines, at uh, Crane Chicago Business. According to Hines, Obama warned Trump's nativism and distrust of the media would cause our democracy to fall apart quickly. Obama then made the connection between Trump and Hitler, warning 60 million people died when the world got complacent. So whether Obama actually mentioned Trump's name or not, the reporter was happy that he was drawing the analogy and comparison to Trump and Hitler. That's what everybody there thought Obama meant. So the Hill.com is going out of its way. And this line is buried at the bottom of their story. While some could see the remark as a fatal jab at President Trump, Obama didn't mention Trump by name. Let me tell you something. He meant Trump because the last two weeks, we had this story sometime last week or the week before. Obama has been shadowing Trump on Trump's foreign trips. You know, Trump will go to outer Myanmar, and a couple days later, Obama will show up. And then Trump will go to Japan, then Obama shows up. Wherever Trump went on this most recent trip, Obama followed by a day or two. And was trying to control any damage, pick up whatever pieces. There's no doubt in my... Folks, it's not just Mueller. Now Obama's in on this. There is a full-fledged effort to do damage heavy damage leading ultimately to the destruction of Trump and his presidency? There's no doubt in my mind. There's no question about it. From Obama shadowing Trump on his foreign trips and now this... It's amazing. You have people who were there from Crane's Chicago business celebrating Obama's comment, immediately drawing the connection between Trump and Hitler from Obama's words. And now the Hill.com says, well, there was no direct mention of this, some have said, but it's... They don't want to run the story. They had to touch on it, but you haven't... I haven't seen it anywhere else, but uh, but the Hill.com. This, this is... This is hard to describe how beyond the pale this is. I mean, think back over any of the recent past... When, you know, one of the things you just don't do, it's considered beyond the pale, is to compare anybody in American politics today to Hitler, to compare anybody to Hitler. They laugh at you. They smirk at you. They say that, 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 when you do that, they claim you've run out of any arguments to make. When you start comparing people, your political op- opposition or your enemies to Hitler, well, then the rejoinder is, wow, you really have run out of substantive things to say, right? That's the easiest thing in the world. Just compare him to the worst guy that ever lived. Fine and dandy. you got nothing. That's the reaction you get. But that's not the reaction Obama got. When Obama did it, 
Melody Hobson praised Obama. And this guy, Greg Hines, at Crane Chicago Business, celebrated it. Here, in fact, let me read to you the summary of Obama's comments directed at Trump by this guy, Hines, from Crane Chicago Business. I'm just going to read. Obama moved from that to talking about a nativist mistrust and unease that has swept around the world. He argued that such things as the speed of technical change, the uneven impact of globalization have come too quickly to be absorbed in many cultures, bringing strange new things and people to areas in which people didn't use to challenge your assumptions. As a result, nothing feels solid, Obama said. Sadly, there's something in us that looks for simple answers when we're agitated. Still, I'm still reading from Greg Hines here. Still, the U.S. has survived tough times before and will again, Obama noted, particularly mentioning the days of communist fighter Joseph McCarthy and former President Nixon. But one reason the country survived, Obama says, is because it had a free press to ask questions. The danger is growing complacent, Obama said. We have, we have to tend to this garden of democracy or else things could fall apart quickly. That's what happened in Germany in the 30s, which despite the democracy of the Weimar Republic and centuries of high-level cultural scientific achievements, Adolf Hitler rose to dominate. 60 million people died, so you got to pay attention and you got to vote. How does anybody not conclude that those remarks are about Trump? Everything Obama claims to be worried about is because of Trump. A newbie that doesn't know what he's doing, a newbie that can't keep up with technological advancement, a newbie that is a nativist, a newbie that's giving people comfort because they themselves can't adapt to rapid technological change. That's another slight to the bitter clingers, no doubt. So everybody there, at least the the media that was present, had no doubt that Obama was talking about Trump in his comparisons to Hitler. We'll see. Let's just wait. Let's just wait and see if this effervesces up into the drive-by me. Wasn't it Obama spying on reporters from the Associated Press and Fox News trying to throw him in jail? Wasn't it Obama who didn't trust the media? Despite they were his best friends? Despite they would have done anything for the guy? 